Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the another video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about iOS 18.1 developer beta 5 because I'm using this update from almost five days now. It's been five days that this update is out. So in this video, I'm going to talk about its battery life performance. So I will be sharing Geekbench score and more stuff. I will be talking about upcoming updates and also the actual release date of this. And may I mention some of the features changes. And also I will try to mention some of the issues that I'm facing with this update. So this video is going to be a full fledge about iOS 18.1 developer beta 5. So let's begin and let's begin with the most important thing that is for sure the battery life so going into the settings over here going into the battery section let the battery stats load over here in last 10 days this is how the graphs are looking like and if i go to this day over here as you can see i used my phone for around 90 percent and i got screen on time of 6 hours and 33 minutes where i was using instagram a lot i was quite active on whatsapp searching stuff i don't know maybe updating my app so this is why home and lock screen took this much a uh, screen on time and some more like photos and some other apps that i use regularly so these are some of the apps that i used that day pretty much now moving to the next day as you can see i used my phone for around 50 percent and the screen on time is four hours and eight minutes again quite active on instagram very much active on whatsapp then me fitness application over here and some other applications going to the next one over here on this day i used almost again 85 to 90 percent and screen on time is 6 hours and 26 minutes where i was quite active on uh, me fitness it was running in the background maybe it was taking my um, location or something i'm not sure but i use many other applications as you can see on this day over here i used my phone for around 75 percent and pretty much five hours of screen on time using instagram a lot and some other applications and this app was quite active running in the background as you can see from last 12 hours so this is how the battery is going on for me on the 18.1 it is not the best battery life but it's a very decent battery life i can say that on 18.0 i was getting a better battery life but people are complaining a lot about 18.0 but on the 18.1 it's a decent battery life uh, i'm expecting that this battery life will get better because on the developer beta 4 the battery life was really good but on the beta 5 i'm not happy with the battery performance again it's not bad it's decent but it could be get it could be much better than this so i'm a bit of disappointed with the battery life it's a decent battery life but i'm expecting it to get more better because it was better on a developer beta 4 but on developer beta 5 it is not that good but i'm hoping if the developer beta 6 comes or rc update comes the battery life will get better fingers crossed for that but for now i'm not happy with the battery life so going into the um, performance over here for that i will go to the geekman application this is the latest geekman score as you can see i'm running ios 18.1 2292 on a single core while 5464 on a multi-core now i'm also disappointed with the geekman score over here not a much difference with the average one as you can see the average iphone 14 is 20 to 42 while this device is giving um a 20 to 92 running 18.1 developer beta 5 over here in terms of multi-core the multi-core are slightly lower than the average one now here is the main disappointment because on the 18.0 i was getting much better scores um as you can see over here maybe 18.0 i was getting much better scores even on the 18.1 developer beta 4 i was getting really really good scores but on the beta 5 i'm not getting good scores so yeah a bit of a disappoint disappointment over here too but this is not something that re reflects the performance i know it gives the idea about the performance but in terms of performance in terms of usage i don't see any issue at all everything is looking really fine so yeah gigman scores don't matter much for me uh, but i know for many people it does matter but yeah they're they are slightly lower 
in terms of multi go score but yeah overall performance is decent everything is running really fine now going further i'm having an issue in the lock screen over here as you can see my time and everything is quite small if i go to customize it it goes to its actual size for example this is the actual size it is more clear than this wallpaper this is the actual size when i select this one it goes down as you can see it goes it goes shrink i don't know why let me show you again it this is the actual size i do this and it shrinks this is quite annoying annoying for me and i'm not enjoying this because there's a lot of space on top i don't know why it is happening but i'm hoping that this will get fixed except maybe in the next update i'm facing this issue in this beta 5 it was not there in the beta 4 of 18.1 so yeah this is quite an annoying issue i hope apple will fix this one so talking about the release date of ios 18.1 over here if i go to the calendar over here i am expected to see the 18.1 developer beta 6 or rc update on 30th september that's finger cross and i'm the i'm face i'm thinking about the actual release maybe going to be on 7th of october or maybe on 14th of october but this is what i'm expecting what i basically want i want that apple make this update better and brings up developer beta 6 on 30th then makes the update more better and brings rc update on 7 and then release the actual update on 14 this is what i want but let's see how apple is going to bring things also many people are asking me about where is 18.0.1 update as they are facing a lot of problems with the heating issues battery life and many many more i did a video about 18.0.1 that video is available on my channel you can go and check out that video however if i go to um in 9 to 5 mac over here 18.0.1 is pretty much confirmed and that it is coming very very soon people are saying that it may take a couple of weeks for this update but i believe and i think apple will bring this update next week maybe on 30th september or on 1st october so yeah i'm waiting for this update so people can enjoy a better ios 18. also many people have already updated to the 18.1 just like me and they're also having issues with the battery life so it is very important to understand you may get to the 18.1 early than the other but for now it is in developer uh, mode it is in public beta so whenever it is in beta it is not going to reflect the actual performance it will having bugs and issues so i don't think that it is ideal to install beta i always say wait for the public release but many people install beta and then complain later so there is no sense of complaining about the beta i'm not complaining over here i'm sharing my experience with you guys so there is a difference between you and me in terms of usage well this is all from this video i hope you are enjoying 18.1 or 18.0 i don't know what you have chose if you are using ios 17.7 or any other update regarding ios 17 i did a video about the ios 17 that video is also available on my channel i posted a 17.7 review yesterday so go and check out that video well that's it from this video and i will see you in my next video until then take care peace out